Welcome to Wine Center Plus. We have a guest this afternoon, uh, VJ, prominent on the wine scene, and he'll just be filling in with some comments and uh, and so on. But Tess is up first with a wine that I can't pronounce. So uh, this week I've selected the Eagle's Nest Row. It's a 2009 vintage from the Constantia Valley, um, and I like it um, because it's something we haven't really done before, uh, an area we haven't done before. It's it's a Bordeaux style blend, predominantly Merlot. Uh, it's from some of the steepest slopes in the wine industry that we have. And um, I find it's really, really delicious, especially for the price point that it comes in at. It's 145 Rand a bottle. And uh, when you smell and taste the wine, I think it's just got a lovely polished, sort of purpley, dark, licorice like nose, a lot of uh, sort of light smokiness. And um, as I said, for a Bordeaux style blend, you're getting a lot of quality for for what what, what you're paying for it. Well, what do you two gentlemen think? I don't I don't find much greenness, which is great. Uh, I find uh, a lot of the Constantia reds can have this green streak through them, kind of like blue streak, but green. Yeah, this is more purple. More purple, more plush, more round, more spicy, and and it's very elegant. Thirteen and a half alcohol, very elegant. What do you think, mm. DJ? Mm, I agree. I agree. I think uh, it has a lovely. Uh, Swedish still vanilla character on the nose and then okay. you've got the spiciness and uh, you've got that really uh, uh, for me Constantia Valley shows some of the character in here which is a minerally character uh, not lean uh, plush but it's got that uh, minerality that that follows through and gives you a beautiful structure mm -hmm. Right, my wine of the week is Alain Grayo Croze Metals 2009 and it's pertinent because um, the Swatland Revolution just announced last week that Alain and Maxim, his son, is coming to the Swatland Revolution for a cool session. So, very, very so I've actually show, I've got both wines here, one that's produced by Alain, which is the traditional um, uh, Croze Metals, and then Maxim's wine, which is called Domaine de Lys. And um, actually, uh, um, Maxim makes both wines, but he makes the Domaine Elise in a little bit more of a, a polished, more slightly more modern style, whereas, whereas the Alain Grayo is, is classic and um, it's one of the most classic wines of, of all the Northern Road. And it's, um, VJ has been, you've been drinking this wine for what, 20 years? Absolutely, at least. At, at least. least, and uh, we've had some wonderful vertical tastings together. It's a, it's a wine that's consistently good every single year uh, and, and 2009 was a great vintage for Alain Grayo. And for 195 Rand, let me tell you, you cannot get a better bottle of wine on the planet, maybe? I reckon. Eh? Easily, easily. I mean, uh, you know, th this wine shows such beautiful character of... Uh, and it's a close Hermitage, but really it, it is... Uh, it has Hermitage uh, quality. Qualities. Character. So, uh, for me, it is, uh, like you said, really... Top value wine, what's but the uh, what's the difference? Well, Hermitage uh, has quite a large slope and it's westerly facing, so it gets a lot of sun. Croze Hermitage is kind of like a backwater; it's much flatter, a lot more sandy, alluvial soil. So there are only little patches in Croze which get the sort of ripeness of Hermitage. But this is uh, the best producer in Croze Hermitage by by far. Um, and oh nine, let me tell you, is a great vintage. The, the wine is just so plush and powerful in the mouth, but yet so elegant and still has a beautiful peppery, um, fine floral notes of Syrah with a meatiness that you get. It's powerful, but yet elegant. And this wine is going to age for age for 15 years. No problem. It's 195 Rand. Buy it. So BJ, besides the fact that you're here every week to drink a glass of wine with us, why are you on the cup? Why does wine float your boat more than most things in life? Apart from very good curries, I might add, but uh, why wine? What's, what's with wine? For me, uh, you've got the wine, you've got food, and then you have uh, uh, friends, company, uh, people who enjoy the same passion. And, and, and when you have that, Grouping for me it is unbelievable. When you open up a, a really uh, enjoyable bottle of wine and you have people who actually can share that passion, 
and share that experience with you uh, with food or even without food for me uh, is um, is the ultimate. Bringing a tear to my eye now. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it just gets deeper and deeper. It gets deeper and deeper. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>